first question is when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is January 4th, 1994. So I'm almost 21. I'm going to be 21 next month. Uh, what are your three favourite colours? Um, okay, I really like grey, purple, and I've recently started to really like mint green. Um, what are your three favourite quotes? My three favourite quotes, I had to go to Pinterest for this because I pinned them on here. And the first one is from Van Gogh. He says, I feel that there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people. Which I think is really cool. Um, and then another one that I really like is, you are not designed for everyone to like you. And be you, the world will adjust. I think those are pretty important because it's all about being yourself and really caring what other people think because you're supposed to make sure that you are happy with your life instead of living your life to make other people happy. So I think that's very important. Um, are you addicted to YouTube? <laughs> kind of, I think. I, I watch quite a bit of YouTube. Like I love watching um, like Britney and Baby and the Swap Family and um, all those kinds of YouTubers. Um, and especially it's cool now like because they're coming up with like all kinds of stuff for the holiday, for the for like Christmas holiday, so they give you like really cool DIY ideas, which is really, it's always very helpful because it's kind of a tricky time of the year to buy stuff for people. Um, what are three of your favourite shows on TV or YouTube or both? Um, okay, so my first favourite show is Revenge. Um, I really, really, really like it. It's always keeping me on each of my seat and each episode finishes off like so nice so it's like really good cliffhanger for the next episode um and I've also been enjoying Downton Abbey it's like so so good um it's really hard because I actually have more than three favourite ones um I also I've been watching this new show called Secrets and Lies and it's in it's set in Australia and um it's really cool. It's like this little boy that he um, he was killed, and they're trying to like find out who did it. And they're like the police are like targeting on this one guy, the guy who found him. And so it's you know all about him trying to prove that he didn't do it, and all this kind of stuff. So it's really cool. And I've also been watching Love Child, which is um, it follows this girl um, called Joan, and she working at this hospital as like a midwife slash nurse and she's trying to get um, kind of like a, a sort of like a degree I guess and so she's like having to practice there to so that she can go and do this exam to become a doctor and the place where she's working um, takes in it's like a, it's a, um, a maternity hospital and they take in um, like young girls who aren't married who are pregnant and then um, the girls get their babies up but it's sort of a little bit illegal and it's really good. It's, I really enjoy that as well. Um, what are three qualities you like in a best friend? Um, I like someone who's loyal and um, and trustworthy. Um, you know, like I, I feel like if you have a friend, you need to be able to tell them stuff that you know they're not going to go and tell someone else, especially if it's something that's very personal and that you don't really want a lot of people to know about. Um, but you like trust them enough to talk to them about it because you just feel like you need to talk to someone about it. And um, I like I also like um, someone who you know doesn't like I don't know like they're sort of um, very like accepting I guess and they don't really judge you for who you are like they're just yeah they're very like yeah that's quite cool. Um, do you like do you like your name? Well, it's my name. <laughs> I mean, I've had it for like almost 21 years, so yeah, I like my name. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think it's pretty cool. Like, is that is that very up yourself to say that? Like, I don't know. I think it's a cool name. Um, if you have the choice to pick your own name, what will it be? When I well, actually, when I was like younger, I was probably about like eight or nine. I really wanted to be called Chantel. And, um, I don't know, like, I just really loved the name, and, um, yeah, it was just, I don't know, I just, I loved the name, I thought it was really cool, and it just sounded like a really pretty name, and I thought, well, that would be cool, that was my name, but now I'm, I don't really, 
Oh, I'm really happy with my name now. And it's quite funny because I actually have a friend called Chantal now, which is really cool. Um, what is your fantasy dream? Um, fantasy dream? What? Is that like what kind of dream you want to come true? Like, I'd really, really like to um, be able to travel um, when I finish studying. I've still got another year and a half to go, and um, I'd really like to go to like Greece or something like that. That would be really cool. Um, do you wear makeup? Um, not all the time if I've got like a really nice event um, or like a, if we're going out for dinner or um, if I'm going out clubbing with my friends and stuff I'll wear makeup but I usually don't. I like to just leave my skin natural um, and let it breathe because I, c I tend to break out quite easily. Um, it's just sort of in the family um, like our skin just breaks out very easily. So I like to try and keep it open so that it can breathe quite a bit and that it's not going to like break out all the time and stuff. I always remove my makeup when I do wear makeup. I um, wash it off as soon as I get home um, and then I just leave, leave it to breathe. I don't put any like moisturising cream or stuff like that on it. Um, I don't know, yeah. I just, and it, it seems to keep my skin nice and, and clean and, and nice, I think. Um, and if I do wear makeup, I'll just wear like I wear con um, concealer, foundation, and lipstick. That's it. I don't bother with anything with my eyes. Uh, I put my contacts in, and that's it. I'm just I'm ready to go like that. Um, I don't really bother with eye makeup because my eyes are quite sensitive, and so just like putting like eyeliner or eyeshadow and stuff like that on makes them really itchy and. You know, it's not really cool if you've got like eyeliner and mascara and stuff like that and you rub your eyes and then it's going to go everywhere. So it's like, well, I might not, I might just not put anything on it and just leave it like that and all the natural and stuff. Um, if you could write a book, what would the title be and what would it be about? Well, I've actually already written a book. Um, it got published in 2012 and it was called Jewels of Kentucky and it was a novella and it was, um, there were like two books in one and it was two different stories about um, these two different women and it was like kind of like in the wild west kind of thing. Um, what makes you cry? Um, something that really makes me cry is like is any time that someone is mean to my anyone in my family or to any of my friends. I really can't stand that. Um, I also hate when um, I'm like in a store or something. It doesn't actually like make me cry, but it just makes me really sad. Like to hear babies crying and 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 like the mums don't do anything. They just kind of leave them crying, especially like really tiny babies. It, just, it breaks my heart. Um, another thing that really makes me cry is when people die. Obviously, I think most people cry when when they lose someone like that. And um, I've lost a few people in my life, and it's really difficult. Um, and yeah, it's it's kind of you know hard. And it's um, I don't know, I think it's something that everyone wants. <laughs> I think the majority of people in the world would cry when someone in their family dies, or just someone that they know dies, um, because it's quite an emotional thing. Um, and just also, like, uh, when I've got friends, or when I had friends that were mean to me, it was really hard. I used to cry about that, and um, we're not friends anymore, which is all good. My life is quite a lot happier now, so I don't cry as much about that anymore, which is good. <laughs> and I've got really nice friends at the moment, and I haven't cried with any of them, which is really good. So they've been training me really nicely, and we've been getting along really well, and yeah, it's, it's quite quite cool. Um, what makes you angry? When someone tells me to do something, or asks me if I could please do something, and then when I go to do it, then they try and tell me how to do it, or they try and take over, and they try and do it themselves. I get kind of angry about that just um, because you know I feel like it's kind of pointless asking me to do something and then just going ahead and doing it yourself like you know they could have just done, done it themselves in the first place. Um, another thing that also makes me really angry is when people like um, tease me about stuff that I'm quite insecure about because um, I've got you know I've got so many insecurities about like my body and just about um, my life and, and stuff like that and it's kind of hard and makes me really angry when people tease me about that because you know there's some stuff that takes a lot of confidence for me to do 
so you know you don't really want someone to be teasing you about it because it's really hard to to do these things then and um, it just makes me really angry. Um, what makes you happy? My family definitely makes me really happy. Um, I'm still living at home with my with my mum and my dad and my little brother. My sister moved out. Uh, my younger sister moved out and um, yeah, so my family make me really happy. Uh, my friends, hanging out with my friends makes me really, really happy. Um, our puppies, we've got two. Well, um, not really puppies. The one's my dog, um, she's five. And then um, we've got, we kept one of her babies from her second litter. Um, and she just, she's a year old now, yeah. Um, so they make me happy as well, especially like, you know, they just know when you're not feeling feeling the best, when you're feeling a bit down or whatever, then they just come and they just sit by me and it's really nice and they just like just come and cuddle me and um, yeah, that makes me really happy. Um, another thing that makes me really happy, I actually love winter. Winter makes me super happy as well. I, just, I, know, I love the cold and it's easier to make yourself nice and warm than it is to cool down like in summer. I don't know. What is fangirling? Um, isn't that like when people are super obsessed with like a celebrity or something and then when they like meet them or hear anything about them and they kind of go crazy? <laughs> I haven't done that. Uh, what are your three favourite snacks? Um, okay, so recently I've been eating um, cruskets with um, like avocado on it and then there's like this, um, this seasoning and it's called Aramat and we get it in South Africa. Um, I always like buy it from the store here in like the international section and I just like sprinkle that on top and it is so good it's like amazing and this aromat is made from corn I think and it's like this really nice like seasoning it's like a maize, maize salt kind of thing so good um I also really like um chips like um I love Doritos and Grainways and I recently discovered this amazing um flavour and it's by Delicio and it's caramelized onion and balsamic vinaigrette and it is so good. It's sort of like having salt and vinegar but it's not like that intense salt mixed with vinegar and I mean I love salt and vinegar but sometimes you need to need a little bit of a different flavor. Um, and I've also been loving there's these things and it's called I'm totally gonna butcher the name it's called bris brisket I think and it's like these it's kind of like you get those bagel bagel crisps and it's like just like the bagels like cut up and slices around and so you've got like these little bits like this and um and it's got like a creamy mushroom and cream flavoured and so it's got like the just the one side's got like the flavouring on it and it's so good like they're so addictive honestly like the other day I had a whole cake with myself it was so bad but so good um what are three of your favourite foods three of my favourite foods um, my um, okay, so first I really like, um, I love, like, any pasta dishes. My favourite pasta dish would probably have to be pasta salad, and, um, it's just so nice because it's, it's, like, a nice summery thing, and I mean, I love winter, but, you know, summery food is just so good. Um, I also love, quite appropriately for this time of the year, I love, um, Christmas ham. It is so delicious, and my mum just makes it amazing, just amazing way. Like it is incredible. She puts like this, like sticky apricot and chutney kind of sauce over it, and then she bakes it, and then it comes out, and it's just you know everyone's just like fighting for the little bits on the top because she like scores it. Um, so there's like little squares of the stuff, and so like everyone's like fighting to try and get the bit that's got the most sticky stuff because it sort of caramelizes in the oven on top of the ham. And so like you get this little square and it's like the fat, but it's so good. It's just like got this caramelized sauce. It's just amazing. And I also really like um like pizza and stuff. It's so good. Um, what are your three favourite drinks? So my favourite drink would probably have to be Coke. I just love Coke, it's so good. It's really bad too as well because I just probably drink too much of it. I actually haven't had it in a while, which is pretty good though, because not very good for you. Um, I also really like um, having a hot chocolate, um, especially with marshmallows and stuff. It's a bit weird to have it now because we're still going into summer, but um, 
but usually I would have a nice hot chocolate though, especially if it's like a bit cold and or I just feel like relaxing and, and all that kind of stuff. And I also really love Alan P and that's if you guys don't live in New Zealand you probably won't know what that is, but it's like it's called lemon and pyroa and it's basically like a lemonade but it's got something else and I'm not really sure what they put in it. Um but it's just like basically like a lemonade and they put something else in it to give it this unique like unique flavour and it's just it's so good and it's so big here. Um, there's actually we've got like a place out in, and actually in Pyroa there's like a giant bottle, L and P bottle, that's like huge and it's like a big tourist attraction. Everyone goes there and gets their photo taken by the bottle and it's just like next to the road so like anyone can go up to it, like you don't have to pay anything to go and see, you just go up and you just take a photo there and it's so cool, like it's just, I don't know, it's one of our landmarks I guess, so <laughs> it's quite, but yeah, you know, the drink is super nice and I really like that. Um, so, next question is, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I was born in South Africa and we moved over here when I was four years old, um, or almost, almost four, and, um, no, I was four. I remember we moved over here when I was four. And I was almost five. Anyway, we, um, I've got a mum and a dad. I've got a younger sister. She's um, just turned 19. And I've got a younger brother, and he's almost 16. Um, and I don't really know what else to say about me. Like, I'm studying, um, I'm doing my bachelor's degree in media arts. Um, in communication with hopes to major in public relations. Um, I'm halfway through that degree and we've got two dogs. We've got Tali who's my dog and then we've got Moxie who's the baby. Um, we had, when we lived in South Africa, we had um, a dog called Scooter and we had a dog called Frisky when we moved here. Um, my brother I think my brother just started walking when we got him um, and he was put down last year because he got really old and he was really sick and he had um, a lot of cancer in his, in his body um, and the doctor, uh, the um, vet said that it was inoperable um, so we were like okay well we'll just kind of like let him live his life and just see how he goes and then um, he just like one night he got very sick <coughs> and um, he didn't eat anything, he didn't eat anything for like two days and <coughs> excuse me. He didn't eat anything for two days. And then like the one night he was just like um just like sleeping the whole time and you know, like um mum and dad were cooking dinner and some food dropped on the floor and he didn't even jump up to go and get it and usually he'd be the first one there, like pushing our other dog, Tali, out of the way to try and get to the food, um, before she could. Um, and he didn't even do anything like that, and so we was like, okay, so we kept eating dinner. So then we had dinner, and he still, he was just still lying on the same spot, and he hadn't moved. And then mum said, okay, she's going to take him over to the vets and just see what they say, and see, you know, what's, what's going up, what's going on, and just let them know, you know, he hasn't eaten all day, and, um, you know, something must be wrong with him. And so she took him in, and the vet said, I'm really sorry, but, you know, guys need to make a decision, um, but he, you know, he's, he's really suffering right now, um, and it's kind of not going to, not, it's not really good if you just leave him to suffer, so you guys need to make the decision, are you guys going to put him down, um, or just kind of let him die on his own, and mum said no, um, or rather put him down, so she put him down, and yeah, it was really sad. Um, so now we've just got the two dogs, and yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> it's so funny though because we've realised that Moxie's got a lot of frisky in her. Like, it's just she's got so much of his personality, and she never even got to meet him because Tali Tali gave birth after he was put down, which is kind of sad. Um, yeah, and also I like I like writing and reading, and that's pretty much all about me. Um, so ten random facts about. Yeah, well, I think I pretty much just gave you guys a bit of my life story there, so um, we can just skip that one. And <coughs> the last question is, 
what are your three fun things to do? So my first fun thing to do is I love um, I love baking. Like yesterday, I went on Pinterest and I just saw these cute as biscuits, and they've got like they had these hearts inside the um, like around biscuit, like a two tone biscuit. Um, and so yesterday I spent most of the day baking those, and it took a long time because. I had to like mix up the dough and then I had to separate it and then I had to knead in the colour into one dough and then I had to knead, e um, I used strawberry essence and so I had to knead that into the one dough and then I had to roll them out and make sure that they were the right size and then I had to cut all the hearts out and um, stack them so that they were like this long tube of hearts and then I had to roll it up in the dough and that took forever because there was too much flour on the bench and so then it just took forever. Um, but they turned out really good in the end, and I still had some left over, so I just kind of made some swirls and just kind of rolled, you know, um, went plain, pink, plain, and just roll it up. Um, another fun thing that I like to do is I like going out for lunch with my friends. Um, I'm going out with a couple of friends tomorrow for lunch, um, which is going to be really cool. And um, the last fun thing I like to do is my family and I. We, um, well, my family has a lake house, um, and it's about two hours away, and so like they they like to go there quite often. Um, and we're going to be spending Christmas there, I think, which is going to be really fun. And it's it's so beautiful there. We've got a boat there, and the lake is just it's just amazing. And in summer, the the lake is just like a mirror. It's so smooth and so beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's my fun stuff to do, and I think that's the end of the tag. Yep, it's the end of the tag. Um, sorry this was so long, didn't it? It was a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, but I will be doing a, another video shortly. Um, probably like before, it will be before Christmas. Um, maybe like, um, I'm not sure I'll do another tag maybe, or just um, some talking or an update. Maybe I'll even do a craft um, and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it was really good to talk to everyone, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. And if you did, like, if you did, um, give this video a thumbs up or um, hit the subscribe button. Um, and I'm just, if you guys want to do this tag, you guys can. I'll put the questions down below, um, and then I'll uh, talk to you guys another day. So, bye.